Capri's green carts. They start being delivered today to homes in the southwest, right? Eligible homes in the southwest will be getting their green carts first. Then people in the northwest, northeast, and southeast. That's how it's rotating. Philippa Wagner here from the city of Calgary today. Helping tee up this program, uh, a lot of people have been excited about this because it really opens the door to avoiding stuff going to the landfill, right? Yeah. Curbside composting, a really neat thing. So, okay, so I'm expecting a green card uh, kit to show up at my house. What do I get? Um, so when your carts arrive, and we are starting delivery today in the southwest, uh, residents will be receiving a cart as well as a starter kit. Okay. So this is everything they need to know to get started with the program. It'll include um, a kitchen pail. Okay. Um, it'll include some samples of compostable bags to line the pail if a resident chooses to, um, some paper yard waste bags, as well as an instruction guide that gives them nice. all the details of the program, how to use it, and what's included, and also a, a calendar to get them started with their new schedules. Great. Um, you said if somebody chooses to line the bin, you don't necessarily have to, do you? No, the, okay. it's not mandatory that sure. you line the kitchen pail. Um, residents in our pilot often found it was easier, kind of keeps the pail a little bit cleaner. Of course, yeah. um, but it's not required, and even if residents choose not to buy bags, there's other free options that they can use, such as newspaper or paper bags can be oh, used as okay. well. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Okay, so just, uh, just not the plastic grocery store bags, exactly. nothing like that. Yes, okay. no plastic bags anywhere in this program. Um, we do want residents definitely, if they're looking to buy bags, that there's uh, logos on the box. Oh, that's going to get a shot to show yeah, us that, Sean here. Certify that those are com fully compostable. They will break down 100% in our system and leave nice. no residue. So, nice. Yeah. That's what we want, right? That's what mm -hmm. we want. And I'm imagining there's a bunch of different brands. Glad is here, but, right. but there are a bunch of yeah, different I mean, and stores and things, right? Yeah. We've, we've got a selection here of the ones that are already available. Okay, so uh, say I've got my kit. I'm ready to go. I just had supper. <laughs> what do I do? Like, what do I do to kind of take part of the program? Yeah, so there's uh, lots of different times in your day that you'll find that you have material, but the two main times are probably when you're preparing food and then when you're finished. Uh, and what we want to stress is that all food is accepted in this program. It goes beyond what you can put in your backyard composter. All food. So, all food. So we're talking bones, we're talking yep. meats, we're talking, oh, we got to have an example. Yeah, right we've here, got a so. plate of just a real big variety. So, I mean, you've got your fruits and vegetables yeah. like, and uh, potato peelings, things like that, but your prepared foods, your breads, your leftover spaghetti with there's, spaghetti there's sauce, some, a pizza some crust. Pizza crust there. Yeah, for the kids that don't eat their crust, sure. you've got um, some chicken and chicken bones and eggshells. All of that can go in. Um, what we like to say is that it's just as easy as scraping your plate. So yeah, when your nice. meal's done, you just scrape that right into your kitchen pail. I love it. It all goes in. And I love it. All be taken away and be composted. Okay, so that's uh, that's from the the stuff that we eat as humans. Now, what about the things that I can find um, in my garden or around my lawn? You know that type of thing. Yeah, so it is a food and yard waste program. Yeah. So the other main component is the yard waste, and so again, any kind of yard waste. So if you've got your grass clippings, you've got your leaves, your pine cones, your weeds, all of that can go in. Really? Um, we do recognize that at peak times, you'll probably have more than can fill your cart. So yeah. if you're living in a community with lots of trees uh, and your cart is full, you can choose to use those paper yard waste bags that we give you a few samples of to fill up and place beside the cart for collection. So Philippa, you're saying that in the fall or spring, um, when I'm raking the leaves or cleaning up my garden, getting ready for planting, if my green bin is overflowing, don't throw it into my black bin now. Throw it into one of these bags and it also will get picked up. Yes. Love it. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. And uh, branches, if they are, sometimes they're a bit awkward to put in the yeah. cart, you can uh, bundle those. And we will take branches up to six inches in diameter. So those are some oh, pretty good sized branches that we can take. That's very thick. Now, yeah. bundling it up, do I just use like a regular regular rope type thing? Or? Uh, we want to make sure, again, that what you're bundling it with is compostable. Okay. So yeah. not, a, not a nylon or a plastic twine, just okay. a regular cotton twine cotton, or something cotton, like that. Yeah, yeah all-purpose type thing you yeah. can get. Okay, for sure. Now, there is an app that we wanted to show off today because the city of Calgary has set this up. And um, it, if, if I'm searching for it on uh, in Google Play like, or for on, I, on iOS, what do I search for? I, I find Calgary Garbage is the okay. best way to pull it up. Um, okay. And it's a great app. It'll help with your schedule because garbage days are changing when we start this program. Sure, um, sure. Blue and green carts will be collected on the same day every week. But your black cart collection will move to every second week on a different day. And that's because more than half of what's currently in your black cart mm -hmm. can be going in your green cart for that weekly collection. Wow. And so schedules do change a little bit, and remembering when they are, we've recognized there might be some challenges for residents, and so there's a handy app that they can download, or they can go to our website and just sign up for reminders either through text or emails or phone calls, or even print their own calendar.
Really? Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it that everything you just buzz your back pocket and you're like, oh shoot, I got to put out the garbage. Take out the garbage. I yeah. love it. Okay, so people in the Southwest getting delivery today, and then we rent and so pick up for people who are not in the pilot part of the program. When's the pick up for the Southwest people beginning? Yeah, so the Southwest collection starts on the week of July 17th, okay. uh, and then we'll we'll move moving through the city, the Northwest second, and their collection starts the week of August 14th, and then we move into the Northeast the week of September 2nd, and finally the Southeast their collection starts the week of October 4th. Okay, and one last question. My producer's killing it. I know that I'm really eating up time here, but you know, I'm just thinking that first time is after Stampede. All those takeaway plates that we get that are compostable, can they go in there now as well? Like from um, stores and restaurants, as long as they say compostable? Uh, the paper ones that you buy, like the in, in the stores, yeah. those are accepted. The compostable ones, uh, we need to make sure that they're going to break down in the time available in our sure. facility. So we're okay. holding back on saying no to those materials until we can do some testing and find out for sure that they're not going to. Uh, impact the quality of the finished compost. Okay, that may be coming down the road. Good to keep in mm -hmm. mind. Thank you, Philippa. This is really exciting. We, uh, we're ready to go.